This video was sponsored by World of Tanks, the online PC game. Tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium and heavy tanks, how you play is up to you. It's a game of tactics, so you might have to plan your attack. With over 550 tanks available, there's always a new way to play. Pitch your battle through multiple terrains, forest, desert, urban and much more. Rally your teammates, devise battle plans and compete in over 40 arenas. This game is free to play right away and free to win. It's about skills, not money. Join 100 million players and interact with a global community of gamers who share your passion. History meets action in World of Tanks as the tanks you choose are based on real vehicles. Earn experience, modify and upgrade your tank to be the best. You can download this game now with the link below. New players will be treated to a brand new in-game T127 tank, 500 gold and 7 days premium access simply by using the code TANKTASTIC. Good luck. And now, on to Berlin. Berlin is the capital city of Germany. In the past, it has been the capital of Prussia, and indeed the largest city in the Holy Roman Empire. It is a city full of history. After the Nazis came to power in Germany, they led a campaign across Europe which became part of the Second World War. Germany's enemies joined forces and defeated the Nazis. Berlin suffered huge destruction as Soviet forces pummeled the city. Germany was divided into zones controlled by Britain, France, United States of America and the Soviet Union. The city of Berlin itself was divided into similar control zones. As the years followed, tensions ran high between East and West. Berlin was entirely surrounded by Soviet-controlled territory and the Soviet Union sought to control the whole city. In 1948, the Soviets blockaded Western Berlin to try and starve them into control. The Western powers were able to airlift supplies into West Berlin, breaking the blockade. Neither side were willing to directly attack the other and risk another world war, which now had the threat of atomic weapons. This tension would continue for decades in what became known as the Cold War, and Berlin would be a central symbol of tension and division throughout it. Germany would become formally reorganised into the Federal Republic of Germany in adopting the capitalist ideals of the West, and the German Democratic Republic, adopting the extreme socialist ideals of the East. West Berlin would remain controlled by the West, but surrounded by the East. As the years progressed, the two sides of the city, and indeed the two sides of the country, would develop separately, politically and culturally. Life under the East German GDR regime could be very difficult, with many ambitious young people wanting the career and lifestyle freedoms of the West. West Berlin was the perfect gateway into the West as people could enter from East Berlin and travel across to West Germany and escape the oppressive GDR regime. As almost 20% of the population had left, this created a brain drain on the East with so many young people leaving. This had to be stopped. In August 1961, construction began on what became the Berlin Wall, which would entirely surround West Berlin, stopping people defecting to the West. The official reason from the GDR was to protect the East from fascists of the West, its official name being the Anti-Fascist Protection Rampart, but many, including the Mayor of West Berlin, Willy Brandt, saw it for what it was, and he named it the Wall of Shame. This wall divided many families and friends who lived on either side. That October, a US diplomat tried to enter into East Berlin for an opera, but was stopped by East German border guards. This all escalated into a standoff between US and Soviet tanks at Checkpoint Charlie. Thankfully, the standoff cooled down the following day, but tension would remain high in the city. US President John F. Kennedy visited West Berlin in a show of solidarity to the West giving his rousing speech, including the famous line, I take pride in the words, Ich bin ein Berliner. Over the years, many people would try and escape the East, but as the wall was built up and reinforced, it had a series of tough defences, including watchtowers, fences, armed guards, dogs, vehicle ditches, and indeed the 3.6 metre tall concrete wall itself. To enter the well-lit death strip was not advised. Although while it stood, over 100,000 people tried to escape. Over 5,000 were successful. Possibly over 200 people were killed in the process. The wall became a symbol of the figurative Iron Curtain which had fallen across Europe during the Cold War. In West Berlin, the wall became a grand canvas for graffiti and was visited by tourists. 
Some people constructed platforms, even allowing curious folk to peek over the wall and see into the east. At a Rolling Stones concert in West Berlin in 1982, balloons were released into the sky, and as they floated across to the east, the German band Nina were inspired to write the song 99 Luftballons, which became translated into 99 red balloons, telling of an apocalyptic war resulting from eastern forces mistaking the balloons as a missile attack. This was the tension the world lived in during the 1980s, and Berlin was at the epicentre of this tension. In 1987, US President Ronald Reagan travelled to West Berlin and challenged the Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev to tear down this wall. The Soviet Union and many of the Eastern Bloc countries were going through many changes in the late 1980s. With less intervention from a loosening Soviet Union came a series of mostly peaceful protests, although Romania's wasn't so peaceful. In Berlin, on the 9th of November 1989, the GDR government announced that they would be easing security along the border and allowing people from east and west to visit each other once again. Almost immediately, people took this as an indication that the wall would be coming down, so people arrived all over the border, demanding the gates be open. The overwhelmed guards had no choice but to open the gates and allow the reunion of east and west, families and friends separated for almost 30 years. People climbed atop the wall and some began to dismantle it. Some in the east began hiring out tools of destruction to those eager to tear a hole in the wall, early adopters of capitalism. And David Hasselhoff was there for some reason. The city of Berlin was reunified. The Brandenburg gates were opened once more and east and west Germany ultimately reunified in 1990. The transition wasn't perfect. In Berlin, they tried to get rid of the Ampelmann, the iconic pedestrian crossing light which was used in the east. There was uproar as the people loved this little guy so much, so he now remains a massive icon of the city to this day. Small sections of the wall remain intact in the city, both as a tourist attraction and as a reminder of Berlin's troubled history. Thirty years on since its downfall, the Berlin Wall is a reminder that division is never the answer. It reminds us that no matter how brave you want to look when you build that wall, all you can see is fear. Thanks again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to download this great game with the link below. New players will be treated to a brand new in-game T127 tank, 500 gold and 7 days premium access simply by using the code TANKTASTIC. Good luck. Thank you all so much for watching folks. This video was helped by my supporters on Patreon. If you'd like to help, please join my supporters on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to find out when I've created more videos. If you'd like to hear me talk about films, video games and all sorts of other creative activities, please follow my other YouTube channel, John D. Ruddy Does Stuff. Check it out. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can buy my books and all sorts of Money Man merchandise on johndruddy.com. Special thanks to my patrons Alexander, Angus Clydesdale, Arthur Revan, Cameron Coyle, Chair DJ, Chuck Lin, Colton Sayer, Kwong Nguyen Tan, David Morrissey, Dustin Holden, Grant Hughes, Jason Romine, Caithius, La Pré Chez Queen Vara, M, or is it? Mm. Mario A. Gallardo, Marcus Booker, Maxago, Mike Wise, Monde Rico, Mr. Magnificent, Mr. Easy Play 2, Myth Nguyen, Ollie Kors, Rocket Wrench, Ryan Ilano, Sadie, Simon Schrader, Sina Yegene, Soars, Stephanie Lentz, Tan May, Theophilius Kilmunis. Once again, thank you.